In this video, I want to introduce one of my favorite ways to work with data in Excel. I use Excel tables to work with large data sets like this one, but I thought it would be best to introduce Excel tables with this much smaller data set so you can see everything on one worksheet. So as a first step, we will create the table with Control T. Excel is going to ask us to confirm that we have the correct data range selected. And we have the check mark for my table has headers, so press enter. Now we have our table. We're going to go to table design and input a table name. This table is much smaller, so we'll call it small table. So now we can explore Excel table formulas. Tables use a unique formula syntax, which makes it easy to refer to parts of the data by the header name. This feature is known as structured references and it makes writing formulas that reference table data surprisingly easy. For example, if you want to sum all the cells under total revenue, we'll use the sum function, and then reference our new small table. And when you start typing, if Excel makes a suggestion, as you can see here, you can use the down arrow to select it and then press tab, which just saves you a little typing. And then we're just going to reference the column. Excel suggests total revenue, hit tab, close bracket, close print, and press enter. And you'll see that Excel has correctly summed this column. Now let's assume we want to add criteria. We can do this with the sum ifs function. If you want to sum all cells under the total revenue column for the first month of 2023, we can add this criteria with the sum ifs function. So sum ifs is giving us a sum range, which will be the total revenue column. And next we can add our criteria range, which is our date column. So we'll reference the table again, and then the appropriate header And finally, select our criteria. Close print, press enter. And we have $162,529. And if we match that in our table, you'll see that, again, these figures match. And these formulas are flexible. You can just paste it down with Control D. And then we'll sum it at the bottom. And since we only have two entries under the column date, and we've summed them both above, our two totals match. Now, with these functions and formulas in mind, you can turn this into highly organized information. By way of example, this data is for a logistics company, and in this workbook, we have organized all of it to explore revenue and profitability by customer, location, equipment type, and material hauled. And once you have that, it's just a matter of making it pretty to impress whoever you're working with or for. If you're interested in this kind of analysis, you can find the Company Data Analysis mini course as part of the ASM Plus tier at asimplemodel.com. All right, team, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.